Hello everybody. In this video, we will demonstrate how to set up Nimble Publisher and define a post data structure to manage markdown files. Let's open the my blog project we created in the last video in an editor. I'm a Neovim user, so I will be demonstrating with the Neovim, but feel free to use your preferred editor. First, edit mixxs to add Nimble Publisher as a dependency. Refer to the README in GitHub and add it to the depths. Once you have added dependencies to the depths, execute the command mix depths get to fetch them. Now that the fetching of dependencies is complete, let's move on to implement a post struct to hold the content of our markdown file. In this my blog, we will implement blog system to manage post data such as URL slug, title, body, and publishing date. Now, let's set the name of the markdown file as a URL slug, and manage the title and publication date as metadata of the markdown file. With Nimble Publisher, metadata can be managed in a map format at the beginning of a markdown file. Let's implement the post struct based on this plan. Create a contents directory under lib slash my blog and create a post.x file inside it and define post module. In this module, we will define a structure with def struct. As I mentioned earlier, posts have fields of slug, title, body, and publish date. Let's also add enforce key attribute to make it clear that the key is required. Next, we will implement the build function. This function takes the file name of a markdown file, the attributes written at the top of the file, and the body of the markdown content as arguments, and returns a post struct. We will extract the slug from the file name using the path.baseName function. Convert the published date string included in atters to the date struct. Then, we create the struct using the extracted slug and atters. We will create a contents.x file in the lib my blog directory. This module is responsible for retrieving and manipulating the post struct defined earlier. We'll prepare an alias for the post struct. After that, we'll call the nimble publisher macro. The build option is used for obtaining the post struct defined earlier. The from option uses a wildcard to obtain a list of markdown files. As option is used to name the module attribute that holds the list of posts. Finally, highlighter option is used to specify the code highlighter to be used. We'll sort the post's module attribute defined by the nimble publisher macro in descending order of published date to make it easier to reference. And, we'll add a all posts function as a getter for this post's module attribute. Okay, with the module implementation done, let's create the markdown file for the blog post. Create a markdown file with any name you like in the priv posts directory. In the markdown file, describe the metadata, title and publish date in map format. Then separate it from the main text with three dashes. After that, write the post body. Once you've created the markdown file, let's manipulate the module using IX. Open the terminal and launch IX with IX S mix. Let's execute the all posts function in the contents module we created earlier. If you can read the contents of the markdown file, it's all good. Now, we're ready to manipulate markdown files through the module. In the next video, we'll implement the integration with Phoenix to display the content on the screen. Thank you for watching.